Hi, I'm Doug Young. I'm a contributing editor to Acoustic Guitar Magazine, and I'd like to demonstrate a few things about acoustic guitar amplification to go along with the article titled, Get Heard. Amplification starts with a pickup, and there are three basic pickup technologies that can be used, ignoring microphones, which can be another option. There are under saddle pickups, which go under the saddle slot, inside the, under the saddle itself, uh, soundboard transducers, which usually mount on the bridge plate of your guitar inside, and magnetic pickups, which usually clamp across the sound hole like this one. There are lots of variations on these three basic approaches, but most pickups fit roughly into one of these categories, and each of them have a fairly distinct sound, and they come with certain pros and cons. So let's jump in and listen to what each of these options sounds like. Uh, unfortunately, it's difficult to install these different types of pickups all in the same guitar, so I'm gonna be demonstrating with different instruments. The instrument itself does have some impact on the tone, even when you're using a pickup, but the pickup sound tends to retain its core characteristics regards of the guitar. By the way, the pickups I'm demoing are all aftermarket options. These days it's common for guitars to come with built-in pickups, and in some cases you don't really have the option to even change the pickup later. Guitars with factory installed pickups often have volume and EQ controls right on the top of the guitar, which can be very handy for live performance. The next stage in your amplification chain is usually a DI or a preamp. A DI is just used to connect your guitar to a mixing board or a PA, and even very simple ones can handle that task. However, preamps do more. They offer EQ and many other features, and they can be useful even if you're just plugging into an amplifier. Let's look at one example. Uh, the LR Bags Venue is a typical preamp. It offers dual outputs, an XLR output that uh, can go to the PA, a quarter inch output that can go to an amp. Your preamp can be sort of your central control point for your acoustic setup, routing your signal to different places, as well as integrating effects. For example, here I have a, uh, a reverb unit inserted into the effects loop. You could add as many effects as you'd like. So I'm running the XLR output directly into my recorder and the quarter inch output into an AER Acoustic Cube amp, which is also being recorded with a mic. So the amp could act as my stage monitor while the direct sound of the guitar could go to the PA. Now the EQ on the venue offers five frequency bands. Every preamp is different in this respect. Uh, the venue has a bass control that controls 90 hertz, treble that controls 10 kilohertz, presence that controls 3 kilohertz, and then two sweepable mid-range controls. One thing to consider when you're choosing a preamp is what frequency ranges the controls offer, because that will affect the tones you can dial in. Uh, the sweepable mids on the venue are an especially nice feature, and uh, many preamps have this feature. Uh, because the mid frequencies tend to be the most problematic for acoustic guitar, especially when you get to higher volumes. Sweepable mids uh, allow you to not only choose a boost or a cut, but to select the, frequency, the specific frequency that's affected. Uh, so let's take a quick look at uh, how I would EQ this particular guitar, the one with the magnetic pickup. Uh, EQ is largely a matter of taste, but there's some things you can do. For example, uh, if I'm playing rather softly, I might want to raise the bass a little bit. Just to add a little more warmth. 
Uh, on a magnetic pickup, uh, the highs aren't particularly flattering usually, so I'm gonna roll a little bit of highs off of this. And then let's adjust the mids. Now, one of the interesting things you can do with, the, with a sweepable mid is that you can start by boosting a mid control all the way up in this case. Uh, you have to watch for feedback. And then adjust the frequency until you hear the sound, that, uh, a sound that sounds the worst. Then reverse this and cut that frequency. So let's see if I can find a bad sounding frequency here. This is the frequency control. <laughs> Um, they're sort of a sort of a bitey, honky sound that's a little bit electric. So let's uh, let's cut that. Let's cut it extremely. And then we also have another mid-range control to work with, so we can play with that. Let's see what else we can find. Another sort of boxy town. If we cut that a little bit. Now what do we have? There's a lot more to talk about with amplification, effects, speakers, monitors, PA systems, and so on, but I hope this quick demo helps you understand a few of your options around pickups and maybe a little bit about how to use a preamp. For more info, check out the Get Heard article in Acoustic Guitar. Acoustic Guitar also publishes my online book, Acoustic Amplification Essentials, which goes into a lot more depth in all aspects of amplification. Thanks for watching. For Acoustic Guitar, I'm Doug Young.